Hey everybody, this is Daryl Eves. I want to welcome you to the YouTube Advanced Training uh, for today. Um, we got a lot of stuff to cover and we just have a little bit of time, so I'm going to get right to it. Um, first off, if you're not a part of the YouTube Underground, basically it's a Google community. And what we do is try to help each other, give advice, give some great ideas. We even watch videos, like videos, comment on videos to help you get some better Google ranking. But ultimately, the underground is, is what it is. It's, it's something that we can kind of keep our ear close to the ground. We can kind of foresee a lot of the stuff that's coming about so that we can adjust. Because I'm here to tell you, Google and YouTube changes so quickly and they do have a plan. Uh, features come and go very quickly. We're going to talk about that today. And the YouTube Underground is going to be a place where you can actually get, uh, gather a lot of great content. Now, if you're not a part of the Underground, you can go to my website, DarylEves.com forward slash Underground. And by doing that, you will be redirected to a Google community. Now, I would have gave you the Google community address but it's like numbers and letters and stuff. And it's not really uniform for a custom URL, uh, but get involved, you know, get, get it, uh, get involved, share your videos, share your ideas. This is a group with some rules. Okay. We have some wonderful rules that are here. Um, we don't want affiliate links or spamming. We don't, we don't want, you know, people really trying to push or harass other people. What we're trying to do is learn and grow together as technology evolves. And I really believe in group synergy. Um, there's a lot of things that, that you can do. If you're not a part of it, join. I would love to, to connect up with you. Um, and there's a lot of great tips. Now, I'm not the only one that gives great tips. There's a lot of people that are really, really smart and are really watching trends. And I learn just as much as everybody else from the conversations. Um, and the whole thing about it is my my thing is what this what this is for is really just to have a little community um, and and really do it now. A lot of people say, Daryl, why aren't you doing this in Facebook? Well, there's a lot of love that YouTube and Google actually give you by doing it through Google Plus. I've tracked this. I promise you. I'm telling you. Um, and they really, 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 really want you to use their their uh, social pr platform, and they're they're giving. A lot of preferen pre preferential treatment for you to do that. Um, also, there's some really cool things of tracking. And I've noticed, too, you can get views that are embedded on Facebook that don't actually show up in your analytics. So this is a place that we want to do that. So definitely join that. Um, you know, it, people might ask, you know, uh, Joel Lynn's asking, says, Daryl, you know, is joining this community similar to liking a page in Facebook? Um, it's a little bit different, Jolene, um, because there's a lot more control. Um, you can actually like a business. It's called a, a Google Plus. Okay, this is not a Google Plus, but that would be equivalent to a like. This, Jolene, is basically you joining a group, okay? And the group stuff will show up in your feeds. If you like stuff, eh, it doesn't really show up in your feeds that much. You know what I'm saying? So you might be able to see or navigate uh, there. Now, the cool thing about it, this is what I love, guys is over here on the right hand side there's tabs and and you can quickly sort through stuff that's the one thing i hate about facebook is you have to scroll and scroll and scroll and sometimes it's a comment that you're looking for that you know that's way back there man you can just go through you can sort through hashtag or whatever so go to uh, darylleaves.com forward slash underground it'll get you there um if not just just find me on google plus and you can see what i'm connected to okay um Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, there's a lot of great people getting uh, signed up right now. Uh, now, that's not the purpose of this advanced training, and, and be patient with me, guys. The, the thing that Google wants to do is wants to create a Generation C. We talked about that in the last um, advanced training. Generation C is generation community, and they want more social sharing and so on and so forth, and it really is going to erect a uh, uh, affect a lot of ranking and how things roll and they can really track it down. Okay. And we're going to go into a couple things immediately. Now, the first part of the training, um, who on the call right now has ever done a YouTube video response? Uh, put it in there, put it in the chat that you have. Jack, I don't even know what a YouTube video response is. Okay, Jack, at least you're being honest there. Bill Walsh says, nope. Uh, David, 
Uh, Alan says, never. David says, me, me, me. Very good. Um, some people says, yeah, I've heard about it, but, you know, I don't know how to do it. OK, well, let me tell you, guys, um, this is something that I track and I, I'm one of those little analytic junkies that I, I want to see where everything's coming in and try to amplify my presence in all the different places. That's why I get a lot of views is I try to do that all the time. And um, so I track every little thing, what, you know, an annotation will do or what a video response will do. And uh, this is basically a video response. So in a, uh, a video, you can actually respond to a specific video. Now, keep in mind, these will not show up unless the owner of the channel says, oh, yeah, the, I'll, I'll let that response be there. OK, and there's a lot of great tips. I'm going to give you a tip that I, I don't really share with people. Uh, but Vivo is a music network. I would do video responses like it was going out of style for my video uh, for my music guys. The reason why is I was piggybacking on that stuff. I'm going to tell you, I, I comfortably give you that tip. You know, I know that some of you uh, might have seen that, might have not have seen it, whatever. But uh, this is what the video response is, and hopefully you've all seen that. Well, keep that in mind. The effectiveness of this is not that good. Now, I've tracked it. It mine's a little bit better results, I found, than the overall uh, statistic from uh, Go uh, YouTube. And it's basically one out of every four out of every one million users actually sees the video response and then clicks on it. OK, so you, you're not getting that many views. And I'll be honest with you, it's really, really not that that effective. Um, and. It, I, I would use it just as a platform to, to boost. But honestly, I, I never saw a lot of traffic from it. There's a lot of problems with it. Number one, guess what? They had to approve it unless they were they set it up for auto approve, which Vivo does. Uh, number two, um, you know, that's a lot of a lot of effort going into a video response. And you can also do a video that you've made and make it a response. So on. Well, you know, here's the thing. You only have till September 12th to use this strategy. That's why I gave you one of my my killer strategies there. Um, it's it's going to be disappearing away forever. YouTube is killing it, and I I don't blame them. I think that it hasn't been effective. It's very poor on the response, and there needs to be a way to have more user engagement. Now, I was sitting with some wonderful engineers at VidCon and other conferences that I've gone to that are YouTube engineers, and there's some really really cool stuff that's coming out. You know, they haven't uh, pretty much uh, they pretty much hasn't haven't really talked about it publicly much, um, but you can kind of see the writing on the wall. We'll talk about that a little today. OK, now. Now that they killed that, um, let's move on to something really, really interesting. This is what I love right here. Mobile. Um, I truly believe everything's going to converge. Um, and video and mobile are converging at a very, very high paced rate. OK, right now, as 2012, this last year, um, all the global watch time on YouTube was mobile traffic. OK, now you might say, well, OK, that I can understand that if someone doesn't have a computer in Indonesia, that they all they're going to use their mobile mobile device. OK, and I'm here to tell you that it is uh, it's changing and it's starting to converge. And it, there's a lot of things. Now, here's the great thing is bandwidth is starting to be extended and you can get faster rates. Um, if you're on 3G, it's like pulling teeth. If you're on 4G or LTE, man, it's it's great. You know, you can do a lot of wonderful things. Now, keep in mind, there's a lot of people that go on Wi-Fi and use, you know, apps and so on. So they're, they're getting some very, very fast speeds, okay? Now, here is the difference. Right now, this is in North America, and I couldn't really pull it down. I know there are a lot of you in different countries watching this video or on the live call. Um, I had to pull it in North America because I wasn't able to pull in each specific country how I wanted to to show this presentation. So I'm going to do North America, and I, I don't want you to feel like I'm neglecting you guys uh, at all. But YouTube right now is 27.9% of all mobile traffic. Think about that for a second. YouTube's almost 28% of all mobile traffic and it's going to it's going to increase and i truly believe um, and this is just in north america um, i truly believe that in 12 months it will double i know in 12 months it's going to double okay why do i believe that why is this 
Am I looking into a crystal ball and say, hey, it's going to happen? No, I, 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 I just know the things that they're offering right now and is going to do it. I'm going to show you one of these items that they offer now, and it just rocks. It does. Um, but here's the great thing is more and more people are getting smartphones. I mean, it was the iPhone and a couple uh, Samsung products, you know, but now it's hard to find a flip phone, guys. I'm telling you, it's hard and everybody's pushing the smartphone. Okay, the smartphone's always connected to the internet. It makes them more money. I mean, that's just the way that it is. And more and more people are going to get smartphones. Now, who on the call right now does not have a smartphone? Um, put a no in there. I, I just want to want to just check just to see if someone doesn't have a smartphone. Okay, we have a few people that are saying uh, no, not me. You know, um, <laughs> there's some people that says, "Hey, I got one of those 1980 uh, bricks." You know, the cell phone bricks. That's actually pretty funny. Uh, James, that's that's hilarious. Okay, so and, and it's okay. You know what? And the the whole thing about it is, if your contract goes up, you um, have stuff that you're gonna have upgrades. Some of you don't even have a cell phone, and, and there's nothing wrong with that either. Okay, but those that don't have smartphone, do you have tablets? Do you have a an iPad or a Nexus Seven or something? Um, oh, and everybody's saying, oh my goodness, uh, you know, it's next upgrade, definitely. And they're saying, oh, yeah, I, I definitely have an iPad. Okay, great. Okay, now some of you don't have either, but I'm going to tell you why I truly believe that in 12 months that it's actually going to double the amount of, of usage that YouTube will, will have on mobile. Okay, the, the first thing is the new mobile app. Who knew on this call that YouTube actually updated their mobile app? Um, just give me, okay, so we got a few people on the call that says, Bill says, yeah, definitely, yeah. Let me just kind of go through it real quick. I, for those that don't don't know it, we're going to go through it really, really quick. So let me uh, kick off here for one second and give me a second. We're going to do some fun stuff. I, I always like to do stuff live. I, you know, that's just the way that I am. Okay. Okay. Can everybody uh, see my phone? You can see my phone, say yes. Okay, great, 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 great. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on YouTube here. And here's here's the great thing about the new app. There's a lot of, lot of crazy things that's going on. Uh, this is the one I'm probably the most excited about because it does so much for watch time. And as a YouTube creator, I want people to uh, watch my stuff a lot more. Okay, um, so it, is great so let's go ahead let me show you a couple of items so right here you basically have a lot of stuff you can go through you can actually capture video you can uh, check out your uploads your purchases your watch later your favorites your playlist your history your settings what to watch your subscriptions and then i can go through some of your subscriptions and i have a few uh, not as much as on my private private channel um, then it says popular from youtube you can check out popular you can kind of do a lot of search and so on but here's the cool thing about it uh, here's a channel that i'm subscribed to i i'm like a like one of those geeks um, that like the technical technical stuff and you know there's there's some a lot of great information that's here so um, let's go ahead and just click on this little story here um, the video itself is going to play and i'm going to need to uh, kick down the, the sound here real quick sorry guys um so you got the video playing now here's the cool feature right here is before you were literally paralyzed on what you could actually do with the mobile mobile phone uh you couldn't really uh engage now keep in mind youtube and google wants this to be generation c which is community now you have the ability to still surf you can leave comments you know you can just do it right on the fly and, uh, you know, you're not losing anything. Now, the great thing about it is you can also switch your phone so you get live mode or what have you. Now, uh, let's say that I actually want to continue to search for other things. OK, you, you can definitely do that. You can either um, pause the video or do whatever you want to do in, in that regard. Um, but the, the great thing about it is the what, what you're able to do. So you can hit that button for full screen. Um, you can hit closed captioning. All this stuff's actually working. One, one really cool thing is in video programming, 
Um, oh, did I show you? I, did, I didn't show you how I did that. Um, in video programming, this actually works in the mobile. Annotations do not still. Um, they said it was supposed to come out uh, in, the, in fall. Now you can swipe, and some people hate swiping, but you can swipe the video down to your corner and look what it just does. It puts the video going and we're actually watching the video and I can continue to surf um, and, and interact with anything that I want to do. So if I wanna go to, you know, uh, Webmaster Tools, Look, I'm still I'm still surfing. I'm still listening to this developer go through it. Oh, hello, Matt Cuts. I love you, Matt Cuts. Don't you know? Don't kill me, Matt Cuts. That's Matt Cuts. He's the anti-spam czar. That's her. Uh, but anyway, um, you know, you can go through uh, a lot of surfing and so on, and you're listening. Now, this is where your watch time is going to go way up because if you ever left the old app. And you, uh, in the old app, if you ever watched the video and you clicked on something else, it would totally kill where you're at in the video and you'd leave. This, your watch time is going to go through the roof. Can you see why, um, uh, can you see why this is happening? Can you really see why this is happening? This is going to increase watch time because you can literally listen as you're surfing and watching and and engaging you can leave comments you can do all this great stuff like i can even click on a video it'll switch the video um and we can see mr matt hello mr matt uh, tell us about what we can't do anymore and we can still look at all the great things that's here you know you can really really surf so now the cool thing is, as, as you want to see it, you can just rotate your phone. As you rotate your phone, you know, it, it comes right in there. Does everybody um, – yeah, so, John, you're saying um, you can still listen to your uh, music video uh, and watch your video, uh, video uh, content, and you can surf. I mean, this is, this is so huge. Um, now, a lot of people are asking about how do I get my mobile device on my screen. I'll, I'll, I'll do that in a video, or I'll explain to it a little bit later. But uh, – um, ultimately, this is really, really cool. So this feature alone is how YouTube and Google are going to um, really dominate on the mobile market. Um, and the reason why is the watch time. You can continue to surf. You're not losing. And I'm here to tell you, I'm going to see it integrate. We're going to see it integrate with Google, too. That it's going to do it when you're doing Google searches. You can watch videos as you're still surfing. That's there. You can see see the writing on the wall. Um, it does. Um, people are asking what type of phones that this will work with. Uh, it works on Apple devices right now and Android devices right now. Um, I'm not too sure about Mobile Seven. There's a lot of issues with with, uh, with uh, Microsoft um, and YouTube and Google right now. There's a lot of bad blood that's going on, and they're because basically Microsoft tried to bypass the API. There was a, like a big mess, but uh, but ultimately um, there's a lot of great things that are happening. So I, at least right now for Android and, and Apple devices. Okay, now this works beautifully on iPads. It works beautifully on Nexus Sevens. Okay, now this is some great power, and and uh, you know like I I literally uh, watch Matt cuts. Um, Guy's brilliant. He's he's an amazing man. Um, you just never know if he's – you just never know what's going on. But I, I like watching him, and there's a really cool thing that you can do. You can subscribe really early to the videos, or, you know, you can get more suggestions here. There's a lot of cool things that are coming up. So you can actually hit suggestions for that specific video while you're watching the video. Okay. And these are pulling in um, – um, here's, here's another thing is if you just uh, hold your, your finger down on a video, you can say, oh, I want to watch this later, or I'm going to add to my favorites or add to a playlist. Um, the other thing is your playlists are, it's huge. I mean, this is a, a huge thing here. Um, you can actually set it up where you can have multiple um, videos going on in your, your, your watch later list. So you can actually go through the watch later list and have it all play out however you want to do, you know, um, let me just kick that up there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> David straight says not always straightforward, Matt cuts. That is the truth. And I mean, he, I mean, he has, I'll be honest with you. He has one of the toughest, uh, jobs in the world and, uh, he's other either loved or hated or loved and hated in the same sentence. 
you know. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, I, I honestly, I'm glad I don't have his his job. That would be that would be tough. Um, and he, all he's trying to do is just make everything work, you know. So, okay, let's. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of cool, great features. You know, there's a lot of a ton of of great things. Um, th that's just kind of the overview. I just truly believe that your app is going to be the way that it's actually going to increase. Now, there's another thing it's going to do. It is the increase of bandwidth. LTE and 4G is coming all over the place, and it's really cool. So if you do have a smartphone, I would recommend that you update your app so you have this and, and play around with it. You'll notice that it's actually a lot nicer because I used to hate the YouTube app. I really did. I, I love this now. And um, it's, it's great. It's a great thing. Now, I do know this, guys, that they track everything and they give certain love to certain things, okay? And definitely, 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 if you're on an Android device, um, use the app and, and watch the videos just as much. And it can be your own videos. It's one of the things that you need to do. Now, I told you this wasn't going to be the longest uh, training session. We do have a couple other training sessions coming up uh, in the next week or two. I'm going to do them a little bit more frequently. Um, and I, I, there's a lot of stuff that's coming out, and I, I just can't cover it all within um, an hour. I want to keep it pretty much at a half an hour, and we're coming up on 26 minutes here. And so what I would like to do is kind of um, open it up to questions. And um, if you do have audio i'd love to talk to you because i really hate just talking to the to the chat box and so i'd love to bring you on just put a an a that you have a uh, audio and you have a question put your question in there and i'll i'll pull you and put you on now tom uh from new jersey saying uh, what's the actual name of the app it's youtube tom um that's the actual name of the app so you just go on search um and look for for youtube okay Okay, Jim, Jim Bell. I'm going to actually bring you on, Jim. You say that you have a question. You have some audio. Uh, you have audio. So let me just give me one second here, and I will. Jim, you there? I am. Hey, nice to hear from you. My where pleasure. You, where are you calling in from? Uh, north of Detroit, Michigan. Okay, north of Detroit. Great, great to have you. So, what's your question? The question is. If I monetize a YouTube video with an outbound link, let's say a direct link to a, uh, an affiliate page, um, and that video subsequently gets ranked in Google SERP on the first page where I could be getting some good traffic, will that YouTube annotated link be live on the Google SERP, SERP version of the video? Now, now say that one more time. Sorry. Okay. So I'm monetizing a video by putting in a uh, annotation so that I can click out, or my prospect clicks out to an affiliate site as a direct link. Okay. Okay. Then my video that's on YouTube is ranked in in YouTube, and subsequently gets ranked on the first page of Google SERP. Okay. Well, that's link work in Google SERP like it does in YouTube? In other words, is it still alive? Yeah, the, the link's al alive and well and fine. But when you say monetize the video, are are you talking about the pre-roll ads or the link? No, no, no. I'm just for? talking about I'm, I'm making it a little sales video. Okay. Uh, well, that, that's completely to, Just to let you know, that's not to monetize, like in the, okay. in the sense of monetization. Um, okay. What you're doing is redirecting traffic or using that as a traffic source. And it will be live. Uh, your annotation will work. But here's the downfall. If anyone is on a mobile device, it does not work. Yeah, I heard that in your presentation. Yeah, so and, and it cool. will work later. But right now, they're having some struggles with that because it's uh, some coding issues. Yeah. They Just to let you know, it does. they did fix the in-video programming. And I've seen amazing improvement with that. So Good. But uh, yeah, so you're, it will work on, on desktop devices uh, just fine. Your link's going to show right up. They do not have to go to YouTube to do that. They can be redirected. Redirect, it could be embedded. It could be in the Google SERPs. It could be wherever, and, and it, will, it will work as long as they're on a, a desktop device. So Yeah, terrific. Okay, well, wonderful. Thank you, for the, thank you for the answer. You're welcome, buddy.
Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, David O'Neill, let me get you un- unmuted here. Just give me one second. Hello, David. How you doing? Very good. Does it sound okay? Yeah, it sounds great. Uh, what's oh, great. your question for us? Well, I, I've heard from a number of different people who are should be relatively in the know that that anything that's recorded on a Hangout on air is going to get more juice from Google. There is a lot of truth to that. There's a, a couple bugs. You can see why I'm on uh, go to webinar right now. There's a, a couple bugs that are in there um, that I don't feel like I that I can't overcome right now. Um, and I, I'll, I'll do it the other way. But it does give you a little bit of juice. Um, and when I say a little bit, it's like immediate juice. And the sticking power is the, the question mark. I mean, you have to have other factors that really get that uh, hang out on air to, to stick. Now, um, I can tell you right now, David, I know of people that are misusing this. It doesn't take much time before YouTube and Google is on their radar and they adjust something. Uh, and, you know, so just just be careful how you use it. I would just use it how it's intended to be and you'll never get penalized. So, well, let's say that I wanted to give some advice without having anybody else on the hangout. Is that abuse? Uh, no, not at all. Not at all. Um, I would do more YouTube live. Um, and that's what I'm playing around with. And, and uh, honestly, well, that, I, that also takes equipment. Uh, not necessarily. You, you can do it without equipment. You can do it just with some software. It doesn't, it doesn't take too much on it. Um, it, you can do it for no cost. Um, I'm doing a video right now to show everyone how to actually put the, the stuff together. So those that do the same thing as me that's on the call. Yeah, that's what I mean. So doing. you have some kind of software that's doing com- compression right yeah. now. Yeah. I mean, your computer will do the compression stuff. I mean, there's, you just have to have a, a nice beefy computer. So, well, yeah. yeah. Okay. And shut everything else down, I suppose. I, I even shut it down for everything that I'm doing when I'm, when I'm streaming, well, yeah. even on a webinar or a, a hangout. It's just, it's crazy what, what happens, but what happens with live? Does it get recorded? A uh, live does get recorded. Um, it's just rendered out a different rate. Um, the reason why I like live is, you know, you're getting high, higher resolutions. Like you can literally have, um, um, uh, high def. You can now get high def on, uh, hangouts on airs. Which which is great, um, but you get the lag. You know the lag that they're talking. Oh no! And, well, yeah, yeah. I, I, that just a bunch that people, drives right? me freaking nuts. And I, I'll be honest with you, that's one of the main reasons why I'm not doing it right now, is because you know I, I it needs to look professional, and I'll yeah. I'll do it old school until it does. Because I even had lag, and I have like a hundred megabit connection, and it I still get the lag. You know, can, which is uh, it's, can it's you a give out the name of that software ahead of time or? Uh, for you, I can just just go into the um, YouTube Underground, uh, yeah. which I believe that you're a moderator at, and just well, say, "Hey, yeah. dude, just let give me the goods, and I'll." Yeah, I'll, me, I'll me and the raccoons are over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my friend. Have All a right. great day. Thank you so much great. Okay. Thanks. All right. Bye bye. Okay. Yeah, that's a great question. There's a lot of great things that are coming. Yes, Google Hangouts uh, and Hangouts on Air. They get a lot of uh, special love. I don't know how long that will be lasting for, but uh, Bill Walsh, I have you unmuted. How's it going, my friend? Hey, buddy. What's going on? Pretty good. How's your neck of the woods? I hear it's raining. Oh, At least that's what you said. <laughs> yeah, it was raining. It's been raining most of the day. It's actually a little sunny right now. It's in the 80s. So oh, Okay, sweet, sweet. So what's your question, my friend? So I'm trying to figure this out because this is boggling my mind. Um, so... If I go to search one of my terms, okay, so I just uploaded a video on Friday last uh-huh. week, and it's ranking on page three, okay? But okay. the thing that I'm more confused about, you know, like when you, you have all web results and then you have the videos tab? Yes. If you click on the videos tab, it's the third video down. Right. And none of those videos that are before it are on page one or two. Right. Separate algorithm. So, uh, okay. Okay. Now, now, now do another thing for me. Uh, are you by a computer by chance? Can you do this or are you out and yeah. about? No, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Search for the same thing in YouTube and tell me what the results are there. And as, it's as up, he's doing it. It's, yeah. It's the number one up there. Okay. Now here's, here's the thing, how, how it works. I want you to understand is there's separate algorithms for each types of search. 
YouTube's mm-hmm. going to have its own. Google video is going to have its own. And then the Google SERPs is going to have its own. And there's uh, certain okay. things that you need to do. Now, all the, t- the stuff that I've taught you, Bill, um, will work all across the board because it just it's just validating what YouTube and Google want you to do. And, gotcha. and you, you'll crush it in, in that regard. Now, keep in mind, Bill, that certain things will come alive a little bit quicker. Like right now, there are times that I release videos that I, I can get number one without doing anything. Um, wow. And the reason why is because of the channel authority that I have. Um, okay. And the more and more popular my channel gets, more subscribers I get, the more watch time, ultimately watch time. Uh, I get the more validity I have with YouTube and Google and it, it does affect the rankings. And I'm telling you, it actually affects it pretty, pretty big. Um, and there's certain things, if you know how to do a lot of your keyword research and you know how to really pull it in where you're doing a lot of, of checking and analyzing before you actually create your video um, and creating your video in the proper way, you can get a ton of views. But I'll, I'll be honest with you. And I've said this time and time again. Uh, where I get the bulk of my views is off of YouTube and I put it in other places. And Google is one of the main where, uh, where, uh, places where I actually get a lot of views because a lot of people is, oh yeah, I just, I want everybody from my YouTube channel. Well, for me, I need to have it be a gateway. So those videos are like gateways to my channel. You know, they might have a question which it's going to pull them in. Um, and if they click on it, you know, it might be even in a playlist that's all about Facebook, if it's a Facebook. And they might not only just watch one, but they might watch 10 videos or it might be YouTube or Google Plus or computer tips or marketing tips, and it will pull the pull them in where they watch a series of videos. And that's what I want to see. That's what I want to uh, for them to experience. And so it's wise for you to make sure that you you look at every algorithm a little bit differently, and then strategically placing your videos where they'll be seen by the right people. Gotcha. Because because up to this point, I've always checked that videos tab first, and usually they come up there, and then all of a sudden it pops on page one or page two. Yeah, that's why I was just curious. Yeah, uh, usually it search it it it's tied in a little bit closer to um, uh, the um, algorithm of YouTube. So as soon as it becomes live on YouTube, it's automatically added in that tab. Um, the difference is is the SERP results take might might take a little bit longer depending on where it at is in the world and how it connects to YouTube. It's, it's, it's a complicated mess, but <laughs> I, I understand it completely. And well, not completely as you can for, uh, for not working for Google and YouTube, but um, it, there's a lot of things. And sometimes I'll be honest with you. I, I've had in like a minute or two where my video actually showed up in, in Google SERPs. It all depends on the timing and you know, there's a ton of variables, but my thing is just be patient and do what Google and YouTube love to do, and you'll get that thing ranked in all three places. So Absolutely. Yeah, I was just curious on that because I'd never seen that before. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that uh, that that's really interesting. Um, the, and I wish I wish we had more time. I really wanted to go over Mixbit. Um, there's some really, really cool things that I'm doing on Mixbit that I think is going to even throw another wrench in the fire with um, these shorter video surfaces like Instagram and Vine and Mixbit. It's going to be really, really interesting. And I think it's going to have a lot to do with your, your results too. Um, like what you're talking about. Um, and it, it, it's, it's, I'm testing something out in a, in an interesting way that it's going to benefit all of us guaranteed. Um, and it's going to, and it's going to help you with your results too. So awesome. Okay. My friend, thank you so much for that question. Okay, let me pull on David Strait. How you doing, David? Thank you. How's it going? I, I, I think you just cut out, but... Can, can you hear me okay? Yep, hear you just fine. What's your question? So, uh, just any thoughts you may have. Um, you know my market, um, which is probably the market of uh, several other offline marketers on the call. Um, I always term it a, a boring business that people need but nobody wants to go to, a uh, healthcare business. So how would you encourage people to, to increase views to their video and, and couple that with uh, you know, your comments here with respect to using mobile to accomplish that? Um, you you got to have a mobile strategy. Um, and I, I think that as you're making the videos, regardless of where you're going to do it, you need to be, uh, be concerned about watch time. 
Um, some people might say, well, you know, I want, you know, I'm sorry, audience retention. They're like, oh, I, I want them to retain a hundred percent of the time. But if they only have five seconds of content, then they don't get a lot of watch time. Um, so you need to make sure that your videos are engaging, um, and that they're uploaded properly. And when I, when I say that you want to upload it as big as you possibly can, I, I upload it. I mean, 1920 by 1080 when I upload my stuff, the reason why is when they're on a TV, I want it to show up good. If they're on a tablet, I want it to show up good. If they want to download my video, I want it to show up good. You know, I want them to give them maximum thing. I can put it on a podcast. I can do all these great things. Well, the way that YouTube works, it, it brings in several variations. So when I upload it, there's actually over 20 variations that you're able to, 20 different formats that they're able to see. Mobile's one of them. So they've already optimized the video that way. The, the only difference is, is just make sure you have really, really good content that's engaging for the people that you're trying to, to target. And um, one of the things that's going on, I can't, oh man, I, I can't, I can't let that cat out of the bag yet. There's, there's something I've been working on uh, to really enhance mobile usage for people on mobile devices that are surfing online. Um, and I, I hope to introduce that here soon. I've just been playing around with it and uh, um, it's, it's still in beta right now. Um, I might put you as a beta tester because I trust you. So um, yeah, does that answer your question? I know that's like the roundabout way. Uh, of doing it, but did, does that, that uh, give you a good idea? Yeah, I think it's a, I don't know if it's even a answerable question. Yeah. Well, I mean, the How best do thing to do is just have a great video, good content that's to a specific target market, and then mm -hmm. make sure that your videos are accessible to where they're going to be. So, um, you know, if it's on your mobile website, yeah, that's great. You know, make sure that it's included. Um, I would always do a responsive theme versus a mobile website so that as you update content, it goes across all the boards of your different resolutions of, of, of screens. So, okay. But um, the, I do have a little, uh, it, it, it is a plugin, just to be honest, it's a WordPress plugin that I've, I've been developing. I'll let, you, I'll let you check it out when it's that time. Okay. Sure. Yep. Sounds good. Thank all you. Right. You're welcome. Okay. I can take a few more. I know there's a lot of questions here. Um, Don's like, well, isn't YouTube's maximum, uh, 1280 by 720? No, it's not. It's a uh, 1920 by 1080. Um, Don, um, you can upload even bigger than that. You just have to do it. Um, you can even do uh, 2k and 4k sizes, which eventually I'll have to start doing, but, uh, um, <laughs> Daniel Jones, my friend from Arizona, he's like, dude, that cat wants to be free, Daryl. Come on. You know, you want it free. <laughs> All right, buddy. Okay, a couple more questions. Jolyn says, "What is Mixbit?" I'm gonna actually the next the next training that we do, I'm gonna go through Mixbit. But the creators of YouTube um, are not in contract again with with Google, and so they had like a certain amount that they couldn't create another product and all that other stuff. Well, they're they're free, and they have they have a really cool um, idea. It's it's an it's an it's a uh, iPhone app, Android app. And it is a cool thing. And I'm going to tell you why. And there's, there's some cool strategies behind it. I'm going to kind of explain that in the next training. Um, John's asking, how does Google Hangouts differ from uh, Hangouts on Air? Um, the Hangouts on Air is a, more of a broadcast quality. Um, and you actually get HD with that at 720. Um, but you still have the lag. There's a few little things that's going on there, John. But um, Hangouts is is what they qual qualified as video chat before Google chat. Um, and the hangout on air is where you're able to communicate with people and also live stream it uh, on your channel. Uh, the cool thing about hang on it and on airs, and I'm going to bring this in, in the next training as well, is that you can localize it and privatize that video that only certain people can watch it and, and be a part of it. That's a big f thing for me is I have people, members that, that need exclusive content. And for me, I want to be able to d distribute that content without everybody else seeing it, you know, and this gives you the ability to do that, John. So great. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on. I would encourage you to, if you want more information about uh, marketing in general, just go to DarylEves.com. Make sure you subscribe to my channel on YouTube and follow me on Google+. Plus. Now, I'm telling you guys, get involved with the YouTube Underground. Uh, I'd love to see a couple thousand members in the next few months. That's my goal, 
is to get a couple thousand members. So join it. Um, and if you're looking to promote a video, put it in there. We're here to help you guys get that video ranked. We'll give you some ideas and tips. If you need some brainstorming, you know what? There's some great people that are on there that love to comment and give you some great advice. Um, I pop on from time to time, answer some questions and so on, and try to uh, bring in some great tips. But there's a lot of great people that, that do that. Get involved. Um, the, some people say they might not see a, uh, a tab for that. Um, there's a people, few people asking for where that's at. It's hold on one second. Let me, um, let me pull up my PowerPoint here real quick. And let me give you the, there it is. It's the forward slash underground. Um, there will be a join button in the upper right hand corner, but if you don't see it, you're probably already a member of Kevin. Um, if not, uh, just join, uh, just uh, follow me on, on Google plus and I'll make sure that it's, uh, that you're added to that as well. So, um, great. Thank you guys so much for coming on. This has been a wonderful call. Um, look forward for a new email coming out cause I'm going to have a, a new improved schedule of coming out a little bit more frequently and consistency with these advanced trainings. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day.